My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Here's something new and exciting for me, a 71 International Scout. It's the 800B. This one's just fun, fun in the sun as they say. It's got a crate 350 motor, it's got an overdrive automatic. There was $17,000 recently spent on mechanical upgrades on this thing. It, it's ready to go out and just have some fun. If you visit volocars.com, that's where you'll read all the specs. Uh, you'll study 100 pictures and you'll get the price. Not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale if you visit volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones come out. But right now, let's go for a spin in an International Scout four-wheel drive. Yeah, if you just want to take the kids for ice cream or if you want to go off-road and have a little fun, it'll do all of the above. Uh, underneath, for starters, it has new bright white brand new Rancho shocks and the, the dampener across the front. Um, it obviously looks lifted. I don't know what they did to lift it. As I, I see is the, the leaf springs up front, very heavy duty leaf springs. I mean, they're really stacked up. I'm not real familiar with these. So I'll do a little bit more homework. You can read the ad description. But underneath the truck is really solid, brand new shocks. It has the heavy duty leaf springs and uh, that's all I could really see. Uh, so I don't know what they did to lift it, but again, I'll find out. Obviously, it's got some nice mudder tires. Uh, they look new, uh, black powder coated rims. Got a custom fuel filler right here, blacked out trim, you know, door handles and vent windows and mirrors. Uh, obviously has a roll bar. Uh, it does not have a top, so it's a fair weather vehicle. The hinges, the emblems, were blacked out, custom made uh, tow bumper in the front, blacked out grill. I'll open the engine here. It is a new great 350 motor. Not many miles have been put on it since the guy spent all the money building everything. It's a 350 motor with the aluminum intake, it's got headers, it's got HEI ignition system, uh, billet pulleys in front, new alternator, new power steering. Uh, it has a new heater blower, it's got a Corvette dual master cylinder, a new battery, it's all bolted down properly. So excellent running truck, we'll start it in a minute, you'll hear it. Inside of the doors are painted, has some brand new uh, Corbo racing style seat, but they are cushioned, they're not just a fiberglass shell, they are actually very comfortable as the racing harnesses. Then it actually has the matching back seat. A lot of times guys throw these in the front and they got just a flat seat in the back. But this has matching seats. Now these are retractable seat belts in front. It's got some speaker boxes and a subwoofer back here. And uh, I'm sure this opens. I'm just not real, here we go. So I guess you had a couple different positions for opening that. So you got some room to throw some stuff. There's the speakers. Has a nice padded center console, uh, cup holders, custom gauges. The whole thing's been rewired completely. Uh, B&M uh, ratchet shifter. It has the two stick shifters for the four wheel drive. Uh, modern stereo unit in the dash. A GT steering wheel. New dash pad. The floors are all metal. It looks like it's uh, been sprayed with bed liner, so it's durable. If you did get caught in the rain, it's not going to be the end of the world. <laughs> also has a battery disconnect switch down on the floor. I believe that's what that is. Uh, but back to the engine compartment, it's got Flaming River. Uh, steering column, new steering box, it's got a new aluminum radiator with electric fan, uh, just a lot of new, new stuff under here. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. I'm going to 
run great. Does he have the windows and the doors? All sprayed with bed liner in here. Seven hundred R four overdrive automatics. You can get out on the highway. Also, a rebuilt Dana transfer case. Uh, it's had a lot of work. You read the list on the website, it'll be more in detail. The body and paint's actually very nice. It's a good looking truck. When it showed up here, everyone liked it. It's different. I don't typically get these, but everyone knows the Blazers, the Broncos, these personal SUVs, that market is on fire. Uh, they're bringing $100,000, $150,000 for the ones that are really cool. but crazy where these are going and that's because people enjoy them. They're lots of fun. They're just cool to have. So visit volocars.com. That's where you can get all the information, plenty of ways to contact us. We can help answer questions about the vehicle, about the purchase process. We have financing, we have delivery. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.